one Sunday morning, I snapped. My husband had to work for the seventh day in a row, and of course, one of our kids woke up with a cold. I told myself it would be fine. We would have church at home. I gathered all the kids into the living room and we turned on our worship playlist. I had no doubt our morning would be filled with abundant praise and divine touches from heaven. Mom, he's not giving it back. I had it first. No, I had it first. Guys, there are plenty of instruments to play with. We need to take turns. Now let's sing to Jesus. After only a few seconds. Oh, you never share with me. But I had it first, so it's no, I had it. Annoying. Why can't my kids no, just I do what I planned? I had it first. No, no, no. Okay, just keep it together. It's gonna be fine. Just let it go. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Guys, we're supposed to be praising Jesus. I lost it again. Why is this always so hard? That night I laid in bed thinking, am I ruining my kids? Motherhood drained me more than I could have ever imagined. I wanted to be emotionally balanced and feel confident in my parenting. But every time the earth trembled, I started shaking too. I shook because I believed the lies that I could never be a good enough parent or that the world was too dark to raise a godly, loving child in it. I had a choice to make. I could either stay stuck in my frustration or I could take action. With God's help, I found a better way to parent. The struggle still came, but now I had a plan and felt like it was possible to parent without losing my mind. In Unshakable Kids, I share the path forward with you. This isn't about never making mistakes as parents. It's about trusting God and believing that he gave you your kids for such a time as this. It is possible to raise emotionally strong kids who remain unshaken and change the world. Your children can become the people God destined them to be. Are you ready for everything to change?